The 1952 Sosima Gregoire turbine prototype was an ambitious attempt to integrate gas turbine technology into automobiles, a concept driven by aviation advancements. The project was initiated by Sosima, Société de Constructions et Equipment Mécaniques pour l'Aviation, a French company specializing in mechanical equipment for aviation. With gas turbines gaining popularity in aircraft, Sosima sought to explore their potential in land vehicles. To develop the automotive aspect, Sosima collaborated with Jean-Albert Grégoire, a prominent engineer known for his work with front-wheel drive systems. However, the turbine's characteristics made front-wheel drive impractical, leading to a rear-wheel drive configuration. The car was constructed using aluminum and Alpax alloy, ensuring a lightweight structure. The aerodynamic bodywork, designed by Hotchkiss, achieved an impressive drag coefficient of 0.19. At the heart of the Sosima Gregoire was the TGV-1 SEMA Turbo, a two-stage gas turbine producing 100 horsepower. The high-pressure turbine spun at 45,000 revolutions per minute, while the low-pressure turbine operated at 25,000 revolutions per minute, with a reduction gear lowering the output speed to 5,000 revolutions per minute. The vehicle weighed 1,300 kilograms and was theoretically capable of reaching 200 kilometers per hour. The transmission featured an electromagnetic codal gearbox and an electromagnetic Telma retarder was integrated to counteract the turbine's lack of engine braking. The Sosima Gregoire debuted at the 1952 Paris Auto Show, showcasing its advanced engineering. However, the project faced significant challenges, including excessive fuel consumption, high operating temperatures, and costly production. The breakthrough came too late, as Rover had already set a new speed record, 244 kilometers per hour, for turbine-powered cars in June 1952, making Sosima's goal obsolete. With no further development, the project was abandoned. The prototype remained largely unused, but was preserved. Today, the Sosima Grégoire is displayed at the Musée des 24 Heures du Mans, serving as a reminder of an era when aviation inspired automotive innovation.